Dr. Raquel, did we misname it? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I know. What kind it's, of hormone is it? So although vitamin D functions as a, is a sterile, it functions as a hormone in our bodies. Um, so it's really, really cool because what a lot of people don't know is that vitamin D is formed as a result of cholesterol synthesis. And it's only activated when we are exposed to sun or when we're taking a supplement. Um, so what happens is when you are synthesizing cholesterol, let's just say you go outside, you're expo exposed to sunlight. Then what happens is you, you're exposed, which activates an enzyme, which creates vitamin D3. Then inside of your liver, it becomes 25 hydroxy, hydroxy vitamin D. Sorry, super nerdy. Then in your <laughs> kidneys, in your kidneys, it becomes active vitamin D, which is calcitriol. So that's the form that most people um, might take or test or things like that. Well, that sounds pretty important. How does it go? Right. So it's really, really cool because um, calcitriol actually activates estrogen receptors. Um, and, and some of the newest research. So initially we thought that vitamin D only affected bones and it affected teeth. But what the most recent research is, research is showing is that it not only activates estrogen receptors, but there are vitamin D receptors on our ovaries. Wow. Yes. Yes. It's so That's cool. Incredible. Yes. Where else do we have receptors? Just on our ovaries, um, not the body. Throughout the body. So as soon as it becomes calcitriol, which is active vitamin D, it goes throughout the body. So let's just say to the bones, to the teeth, to different parts of our body. And it's um, they all have receptors, but they only respond to active vitamin D, which is calcitriol. Okay, got okay, it. Got what it. is mm -hmm. the ideal level? So you said, what's the normal level? What's the ideal level? Because there's a range, right, where you're too low and it's not good mm -hmm. and you're too high and it's toxic. So below 12 is deficient. Um, okay. And we typically want you to stay between 20 to 30. 30 is where we like to hit, especially for fertility. We want it to be 30. Anything above 50, you're kind of hitting that high range. How do you mm -hmm. test it then? So the best way to test it, and unfortunately it gets tested wrong a lot, but you want to test 25 hydroxy vitamin D because this is the most adequate level of what's, in, what's circulating in your body right now. So whenever you go, you want to make sure they test it through your serum and that it's 25 hydroxy vitamin D. That's the most accurate level. Okay, got it. And if it's not close to that 30, there's lots of different versions of vitamin D to buy in a supplement and there's lots of different levels of vitamin D in a supplement. I yeah. was so low when I was diagnosed with breast cancer that I was on 50,000 IUI once a week. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's how we do it. Um, if you're very low in office, we do IM vitamin D. Um, however, you want to make sure that if you're taking a maintenance dose, meaning that your, your levels are fine, then you want to do about 2000 IU a day. However, if you're deficient, you want to do 5000 IU per day or 50,000 per week. Got it. Okay. Now mm -hmm. supplements, the only option you're sitting out in the sunlight, you're getting good sunlight right now, synthesizing that vitamin D, but a lot of people are wearing so much sunscreen these days, they're not going to get any. Exactly. Exactly. And what's really cool is you can actually get between 10,000 and 20,000 IUs of vitamin D simply by sitting outside for 20 minutes. Yeah. Well, it seems mm -hmm. like that not a huge risk to skin cancer. So it's, it's safe to say, okay, right. maybe not at the worst time of sunlight in the day at 3 p.m. Maybe exactly. at noon, sit outside, get 20 minutes, and that should have a big, big impact on your levels. Absolutely. Absolutely. And of course, ditch the sunscreen when you're trying to get your levels up. You want to not have any sunscreen, have like less clothing on so that you can really absorb it. Love it. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to walk outside right now and get some extra vitamin D myself. Yes. This has been the Fertility Tip Tuesday. We will see you next week, same time and same place. I'm Alice Creasy. This is my good friend, Dr. Raquel, bringing Hi. you all the same fertility every Tuesday, same time, same place. Bye. Bye.